I know vlogging can seem like this huge thing and it can be really overwhelming to think about, but today I wanna to convince you that it's, it's pretty simple and you can start your own vlog and your own YouTube channel. It's exciting. The first question you're probably thinking about is, I don't even know how to make a video. I don't even know how to start. Where do I even begin? This problem is easily solved by something that Gary Vee said, which is document versus create. So instead of asking yourself, how am I gonna create this video? For example, if you wanna create a video about you going shopping. Instead of thinking about how am I going to create this video about shopping, just go shopping and just vlog every process of it. Document the whole process, always overshoot way more than you think you need, and then come home and just chop out everything you don't need and then that's your video. If you've never done this before, it's gonna be overwhelming, but it's okay, it's like anything new, you just do it and the more you do it, you get better at it. So don't expect your first video to be good, just simply go out, create something, and over time, you're just gonna get better. Next thing about vlogging is, you're probably gonna have to go in public at some point, so you're gonna have everybody looking at you, literally. I'm sure there's people, when I walk past them right now, they're gonna be looking, they'll be staring, but it's just a part of being a creator, so the more times you vlog in public, the less weird it gets. So, it's just like anything, but if you've never done it before, vlogging in public is a very weird thing, so you just gotta say fuck it and just do it. Get it over and done with. Chris is sort of new to vlogging, I would say, in public. How do you find vlogging in public? It's still, it's still, it's still hard. It's easier to do it when your friends are also doing it, definitely, but in, a, in an environment like this, chatty, I, I couldn't do it personally, yeah. not yet. You could, you can do it. It's just very nerve wracking, but you realize everyone will look at you and then they'll forget about it in five seconds. So it's not even worth getting worried about. I think the hardest thing as well when you're vlogging, you're walking through a bunch of people and you know everyone's looking at you. The hardest part to train your mind to do is stay on topic to whatever you're saying. So just make sure you're staying in the moment. And that pretty much just comes over time. Like I know right now, people are gonna be looking at me because like, why is this guy looking at this camera or talking to this camera? Like, what's he doing? They're all gonna be looking at me because they're curious and want to know what's going on. And they're just going to go back to their shopping and whatever the fuck they're doing, you know? Like Another common like misconception with YouTube is that you have to be this super energetic person and you have to have this sort of YouTube personality. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing photography. Don't do that. Be yourself, be whatever you are. Right now I'm pretty chill, so I'm just gonna be chill. Be who you are. The good thing about YouTube is you can just be yourself. So whoever you are as a person, that's the sort of audience you're gonna attract. So whatever you're feeling in the moment when you're talking to the camera, whether that's sad, whether that's nervous, wh wh whether you're just being weird being yourself, just be that person, because that's just who you are, and you'll, get, you'll gain an audience who are similar to you. When I was in New York, we were heading over to like get onto a helicopter or something with Hayden. He just turns his camera on and starts speaking to it normally. Like he, we were having a conversation with him and then he just turns on his camera, no voice change, no nothing changes for the camera. He just literally turns it on and just starts speaking to it like I'm speaking right now, like nothing yeah. different. I think it's also okay to still record even when you do feel upset. Yeah. And it's okay to express those emotions to the camera as well because that's what makes it a lot more genuine. You don't have to be happy and excited all the time. For sure. I've been able to travel a lot through being a vlogger on YouTube. For example, we went to Singapore, which was awesome. And when we were in Singapore, we did a photo battle and I ended up losing that photo battle, which meant I had to dye my hair blonde. But it's actually running out, to be honest, as I'm speaking about it. Three, two, one. Yep. I uh, ended up going with silver hair this time. I don't know why the hairdresser said do it, so I did it. I know this varies between YouTuber to YouTuber, but I personally do not plan my videos. And a lot of, a lot of people are surprised when they hear that because they think that I would script them or I would at least have some sort of structure. I used to try and plan my videos when I first started, but I felt like having a plan put pressure on me. And if things didn't go according to that plan, I would feel pressure and I would be like, oh damn, this video isn't going how I want it to. So I like to keep it super, super simple. I just have an idea, for example, flare photography. And then whatever happens surrounding that, I'll just document it. So that goes back to the whole thing about documenting versus creating. But at the end of the day, that just comes up to you. And depending on the style of content that you create, you might need to have a plan. But for my style and for what I do, it works for me. But you just gotta figure out what works for you.
I hope this has given you a bit of encouragement to start a vlog. I know it's really exciting starting YouTube, putting yourself out there in front of the camera, but it's really rewarding and it's really fun as well. Now all you need to do is just go and document doing something, whether it's photography, art form, whatever it is that you want to vlog about, just go out, film it, edit it. You don't even have to post it anywhere. You can just simply make one thing and then you go from there. I believe in you, you can do this. Other than that, just send it, see what happens and have fun with it. That's all for me today as always, don't think, just do. Well, I just got a belt for two bucks, that's what. It was meant to be 50 bucks and she scanned it and it's two bucks. So it's actually two bucks. $2. Yeah. I've got to sell it what it scans at, whether it's got the wrong price on it or not. Really? Oh well, my lucky day, isn't it?